What's up, Jabot here, and today we have a new video and we have a lot to talk about. And for our first topic, we have 21 Savage, and this is some crazy stuff. So, according to 11 Alive, a news website, they had released an article that says that Hilton Atlanta guest was asking for 21 Savage and then shot the clerk at the front desk and while there was a witness and he does talk about the incident in this video however due to copyright i'm not going to be playing the video but he does say the guy he's a guest we checked him in yesterday and he just came downstairs i kid you not just tripping just saying i'm looking for 21 savage the witness who did not wish to be named said kid you not he said where's 21 savage he started tripping and he pulled a gun out on the girl at the front desk and pistol whipped her a few times and he let off about four shots and i believe he struck my car co-worker that's what the guy says in this video in this article it continues by saying atlanta police said the woman was struck three times twice in the shoulder and once in the arm atlanta police later said she was taken into the hospital in stable condition they described the incident which happened just after 2 a.m as an unprovoked attack and said the suspect may have been under the influence of drugs which contributed to the attack i wanted to help my co-worker i really feel bad the witness said but at the same time he had a gun so i ran and called 911 i just wanted to make sure the police the authorities got here so everyone could be safe she's a good friend of mine she's just a sweet loving person cares about a lot of people she wouldn't do anything to hurt anyone he added i know that's cliche they say that about everybody but it's really really true and the gentleman that did this is wrong crazy he said the front desk worker never even spoke to the man she didn't say anything just walked up saying where's 21 savage he said where the f is 21 savage man this is scary because now we know that there's some guy out there who is willing to harm 21 savage this guy decided to shoot at the clerk at the front desk at the Hilton Hotel in Atlanta. It was late into the night and he shot her and he was asking where's 21 Savage, man. It is very scary to be a rapper. And for our next topic, we have Young Boy and also Jania. And yesterday, some crazy stuff went down. If you guys don't know by now that YB and Almighty J and Jania have been very close now, they also went protesting yesterday as well. And it was just an overall pretty good thing that they did together. And for the past week or so, people have been speculating that probably they are going out or they're just probably very close friends. Well, last night, things didn't go so well. One of YB and Omar J's friends, Tuffy, he was on Instagram Live and started dissing Youngboy for no apparent reason. And people who were watching this Instagram Live were like, why are you going at YB? You're unknown. What are you doing? And that's when later on, Jania checked him for dissing Youngboy. Fake page. Fuck Youngboy. That nigga pussy. Bro, they screen recording man, this shit, man. They don't give a fuck what they we talking about. We ain't lame, bro. We ain't speaking on no other niggas. Man, I don't even live in Houston, dumbass nigga. Bro. And you on a fake page, man. I ain't worried about none of that goofy ass shit. Niggas really living like that. Tell your partner to go dig his partner up. Lame, man, nigga. Oh, he said Jay and Tiffany not even been like that. And real like they in Houston would rap a lot. For I don't even run behind rap a lot, nigga. Boy, what the fuck? Boy, you not. You got YB fucked up. And fuck I, ooh, YB. And, and whoever rocking with him. Be my page for real. See, put that on his partner. Hey. Now it doesn't stop here. After this all went down, and Jania had checked them, and he said what he said on Instagram Live. That's when he uploaded a apology video, and this is what he had to say. All right, so I know y'all see this video circulating around. I just want to clear this shit up and say it ain't got nothing to do with Almighty or Nini. First of all. Second, I was just on live tripping with some people and shit. I don't know if they was fans or what. I was drunk last night, man, on live. They were saying a bunch of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I said some shit I shouldn't have said. You know what I'm saying? Me and young boy ain't got no problems. I don't know young boy to be beefing with him or had no type of issue with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? What I said about a nigga dead homies, I wasn't talking about young boy dead homies, bro. I was talking about a nigga in the comments. So y'all can just dead that shit. I ain't got no problem with young boy, bro. Me and young boy not in, into it, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, Jania is always going to have Young Boy's back and he's always going to have hers. And for our next topic, we have Quando Rondo. And a couple days ago, he uploaded a video, but he took it down where he talks about that every city he goes to, he's always going to drop his address and make sure that people know that he's at this location. He wants all the smoke with whoever wants to arrive at this location and has any type of problem with him. And people are very afraid. They're like, man, why would you want to put that energy out? You have already so much money. You're in a position 
that anybody would die to be in. Why are you putting out this energy? I don't smoke, I'm in New Orleans, cuz for now, every city I go to, I'm dropping my address. I ain't these rap niggas pussy. I ain't got no security guard. None of that. I'm on crash time. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea, but hey, he said what he said, so it is what it is. And for our next topic, we have Bad Baby, and this is serious. TMZ has released an article that says that she has entered rehab for trauma and pills, and it says Bad Baby's getting professional help for a couple very serious issues. She's made the decision to enter rehab. Sources connected to the rapper tell us Danielle, who's just 17 years old, recently checked herself into a facility at an undisclosed location and has been held up for a few weeks now. We're told she's receiving treatment for a combination of things, childhood trauma, trauma but also substance abuse in the form of prescription pills our sources tell us danielle as well as other people around her were aware of the severity of the issue which is why she decided to seek assistance we're being told she's doing well so far and is optimistic about her progress she could be in there from 30 to 90 days also over the past few days she's been receiving a lot of backlash for being very quiet about the black lives matter movement and also george floyd and just yesterday she posted a black screen to honor george floyd and also the black lives matter movement also also in this article it continues by saying her management team tells us we are very proud of Daniel for recognizing that she needed help and seeking it out here's hoping she comes out the other side new and improved get well kid okay so hopefully things do turn out good for her right now she's in rehab and she's probably going to be there for 30 to 90 days so we shall see how it all unfolds and for our final topic we have Kodak Black and TMZ released an article a couple days ago saying that Kodak Black suing the U.S. Marshals for allegedly leaking a photo of him in handcuffs and it says Kodak Black's attorney Brad Bradford Cohen has fallen through on his promise filing lawsuit against the U.S. Marshals who Kodak claims told a Miami cop to snap a picture of him while in custody last year and then allegedly proceeded to leak it to the media. The suit obtained by TMZ claimed the U.S. Marshals Service Chief Mark violated Kodak's rights to privacy and partook in the unauthorized publication of Kodak's name and likeness by allegedly feeding the passed on pig to a Miami area reporter which found its way online. Kodak says he suffered embarrassment, humiliation, emotionalist distress and loss of income and apparently this is the picture that we're talking about as you guys can see right here on the screen it continues by saying the docs also have a pretty strong opening graph to characterize Kodak's predicament they quote an opinion given by the justice in a supreme court case which touches on the rights of inmates while comparing them to wild creature in cages part of the judge quote reads inmates in jails prisons or mental institutions retain certain fundamental rights of privacy they are not like animals in a zoo to be filmed and photographed at will by the public or media reporters so overall kodak black is suing the u.s marshals for allegedly leaking a picture of him in handcuffs also there was a picture that leaked like two months ago of kodak black and this is a very recent picture it was back in like april but right now this is what is going on with kodak black in the u.s marshals and that is it for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these topics hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new hit that bell to so be notified every time i upload a video but yeah i'm out